What is up, cryptocurrency investors? My name's Landon. You're watching Crypto Review Central. If you are a cryptocurrency investor or are simply interested in this budding space, subscribing is a wonderful idea. I provide market analysis as well as trending topics every day. So if it is happening in the blockchain technology space, you can be sure to find it here. We are giving away $50 in Bitcoin as soon as we hit 200 likes. So once you finish watching this video, remember to smash that like button if you found it informative and comment something of value. We are a growing community of like-minded individuals sharing ideas and amazing thought-provoking engagements and I welcome both new and old viewers to the CRC crew. The cryptocurrency markets as a whole are really digging as low as it can go. With Bitcoin recently kissing 5800 and then pushed up above 6100, holding steady above 61, sometimes going as high as 66. The last day and a half, however, has seen a very steep drop off, losing about $20 billion in the last 24 hours. A big part of why that is, is Bancor getting hacked. It has hit Bancor really hard dropping from a high of five and a half dollars in may seeing a steep drop off upon the immediate announcement of this hack going from 160 million market cap down to where it currently resides at 119 by the time this video goes live it will likely be even lower and with that the entire markets have seen a steep drop off generally when any asset gets hacked it's a lot of fud a lot of weak hands get shaken out and the market generally endures a deep cut Bancor was one of the high profile ICOs of last year raking in 153 million during the token sale issues began when the platform announced a security breach on Friday July 9th a few hours later Bancor released a follow-up statement revealing that a suspected 12.5 million in ethereum as well as 11 million in BNT which is the native Bancor token and NPXS making the total loss 23 and a half million dollars the breach came via an online wallet being used to effect upgrades to certain smart contracts they were able to gain control of the wallet using it to siphon the stolen coins they were able to freeze the bnt tokens because it's their token however there's no way to freeze the ethereum and npxs thus the company plans to work in tandem with other exchange platforms in tracing the stolen ethereum and preventing the cyber criminals from liquidating them which is really interesting and worth following if that actually does happen let alone if it nets anything it will bring an increased amount of security if they are able to track it down even somewhat since the news of the hack bnt token has taken a tumble and the entire market has taken a tumble the price was at three dollars and fifteen cents and by the end of that same day it was 250 right now at 235 in 2017 Kyle Samani of Multicoin Capital was very public about not liking bank or saying the premise didn't really make sense to him and his inner capitalist is just dumbfounded by the concept of Bancor. Will this latest hack adversely affect Bancor? More than likely. Will it adversely affect the markets entirely? It seems to have had some sort of impact. Whether or not that's coincidental, it's hard to say. Nobody really knows the future. All we can do is continue to monitor the markets and use the available indicators and resources. The market needs a heavy influx of capital to see any gains, and many top analysts would have already expected the markets to be above $500 billion. One of the more interesting recent indicators that has come to light and recently got some press, originally released by Bloomberg, it's a technical indicator from a company known as Divergence Analysis Incorporated. The DVAN buying and selling pressure indicator, which is a proprietary analysis charting the coin's current price trend line and ideal exit points historically it's been quite accurate in predicting a complete trend reversal the last time the data showed that the stop and trend lines crossed the price of Bitcoin saw a reverse in trajectory that was on April 13th Bitcoin surged almost 22% to more than 9600 on May 4th from 7903 on Friday, the same day that this Bancor announcement happened, the trend line crossed and the exit point and Bitcoin rose 2%, which is nominal and hard to really pinpoint it on that. However, could it be the start of something bigger? 
We'll have to wait and see as the rest of the week pans out. Bitcoin is holding strong above 6300 and it has been since it kissed 5800. As I've been commenting on frequently, there's a lot of bull traps. There's a lot of upward indication, but it has yet to be fully confirmed. We've yet to see even a mediocre or a decent bull run. Everything's been very, very small, continuing with a downward channel. However, regardless of how the markets do, I will be here reporting the news. And subsequently, I will be here when the big bull run that top analysts have been predicting for a long time, when hopefully the entire market cap surpasses 500 billion and approaches $1 trillion, eventually, ideally, becoming a multiple trillion dollar market. The best is yet to come in my opinion, so keep fighting the good fight. Hang in there. This market is poised to radically transform a number of industries if it has not already done so. And I'm incredibly excited for the future, and you should be too. Continue to follow us here at Crypto Review Central. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click the white bell notification button so you don't miss out on any of the content. And stay tuned every single day. My name is Landon. Thank you once again, and I'll see everyone tomorrow.